Hi everyone, John B Man Saunders here again and thanks for watching. I really appreciate all those that have liked and subscribed to my channel and carry on viewing my videos. I don't profess to be the best beekeeper in the world, I just hope that it would help someone in some way to, you know, help you with your beekeeping. So um, please come with me up to the farm now and we have a look through one of the hives. Um, I think possibly we could end up with some supersedure cells or swarm cells. Normally the supersedure cells are halfway up the frame and swarm cells you get about 15 or 20 along the bottom. Uh, it is a bit difficult to see the difference between them if there's not a lot of cells. So uh, I don't know whether there is any, we'll have a look together and uh, it's a matter of reading the hive just like you'd read a book. It takes time to understand how to read something and so does it with beekeeping. So the more you do it, the more you'll be able to read what's going on in the hive. And I make mistakes myself even now. So we mustn't worry about making a mistake. No one's going to tell us off. So let's enjoy your beekeeping and don't worry is the main thing about anything you see. Um, just take your time. Have some equipment uh, in your shed like um, some loot boxes. Because if you get swarm cells, it's good to be able to split it or uh, take the cells away and put it into a little nuke. So you do need a little bit of equipment uh, spare in your shed to um, just in case you get any swarm cells or supersedure cells even, you know, you might want to split the hive. It's always good to have a few bits of kit uh, spare in the shed with all the frames ready. So come with me now up to the farm and hopefully we'll find something interesting together. Thanks, here we go then. Right, we'll have a look in this hive together and see whether or not it's got any swarm cells. Also, whether the oil seed rate is crystallising yet. Uh, we'll just have a little look. Might be interesting to us, mightn't it? Here we go then, with a little smoke. Oh, it's um, 14 degrees today. But there's a bit of cloud about where it's 14 degrees. Here we go again. We take the we take the uh, crown board off or cover board, what anyone wants to call it. Have a look in the super just to see getting on with this honey. Oh, there's a lot of bees in there. Loads of bees. Let's have a little look. I'll do my little smoky. It's dripping out. As I'm tipping it, it's actually dripping out. So it's definitely not ready for extraction. So that's fine. We'll just Shouldn't have done that. They haven't actually drawn this one out. Just do this a bit more gently, that's better. I've got a little bit of weird cone here. Show you that. That's not very good. See they've made some funny cone, look. I want to cut that out carefully mm. 
that was going against that was going against that bit there look there's a strange bit on here see if I get that off as well cut that away Is it? That's better. They'd probably tidy that up now, make it a bit neater. Well, look at this one. if it's dripping out. If you see on the camera, there's a little seed right there. It's um that all seed rape's not gone crystallised yet. look in there now to see whether we've got any queen cells. There's a good chance that we could have some in here. Now I'm smoking them across the across look across the queen excluder and just giving them time to climb down through them little holes that will mush them there's a big uh, drone there just flying off look big drone another one there he can't get down through the he, he, them drones they can't get down through there so they obviously got trapped up here in the super the last time I opened it. So they'd be pleased to get out. There we are. The sun's just breaking through the cloud again now. We'll have a look on there, make sure we've got no queen, which we have not definitely no queen on there. Put that down there. We we'll take out this dummy board. Dummy board that gives us room to get in to move the next frame. Gently like that. There we are. This is going to be interesting. I think we're probably going to end up with queen cells in here. If so, we won't panic. That's absolutely full of. Look absolutely full of cat brood, see? There's, there's a good laying queen there. Let's have a look what we can show you. Anything interesting on that one? There's a drone. Uh, just there, look. On where my end of my hive tool is, big fat eyes, big fat drone, all the rest of the workers, the worker cells in there. So, quite a nice frame. Just make sure we haven't got the queen on there. Make sure we haven't. Down 
I'll give a little tiny bit of smoke because there's one buzzing around me. And the poor dead one there. See that one? One there trying to clean up this dead one. See? They, they're so hygienic. They, they don't want that in the hive. Please. That one there, this is the one that's buzzing me, look, see him? He must be a guard bee, or she must be. There we go, we'll have a look in this one, see if we've got any queen cells. I'd say yes more than no, I think. We'll soon find out. Have we got eggs? Let's have a look. I don't know whether or not we've got... Yeah, we've got eggs in there, so we could even have a queen on this one. Have a look. Uh, I'd say no to that. We'll go through slowly, see if we see any queen cells. I hope we don't get any because I wanted to use this one for making some nukes. Oh, we have got some. It looks like it. Let's have a look. We've got very large cups, but they haven't got eggs in them. I'll show you, look. <coughs> Well, yeah, see, you can see it. Normally, um, these little cups here, small play cups, but these are quite big, but they haven't got eggs in them. I'll just check each one. No egg. No eggs. I thought there was green cells. But they ain't got no egg in them, so they're not green cells. Completely empty, completely empty of um, of an egg. There's a bee in there, see, cleaning up. There's no eggs in there. I thought they were queen cells when I first looked. Maybe we've got some queen cells further down here that have got eggs in, maybe. There's a frame I've put in that was that had a piece of foundation in it, only going down part way. They're drawing it down, look. I'll do that to save on the foundation. This frame here is full of drone cells. Have a look on there. All these with the big bumps on. See this side, probably better. They're all bumpy. See, bumps. That's the drones. So they've laid a whole drone. Drone frame there. So that's a good indication of thinking of swarming. There's some. Oh, there is a queen cell. There's definitely one here. Look, I thought I'd find some. There we are at the bottom, and it's got an egg in it because it's got raw jelly that I'll open it up to show you. Right. All that in there. All that in there, look, that is um, royal jelly in the bottom of the queen cell. See the bee going in, licking it there? So they are thinking of swarming. They haven't capped them yet. We haven't capped that one. So what I need to do now is find the queen. There's no rush. 
they're not going to go today probably in a couple of days time but we'll find the queen and I'll split it up into some nukes A little bit defensive, that's a little bit banging me because of the queen sounds, I think. They're normally very calm this size. This is a um, this is a double blue box. Now if I can't find the queen, I could put a queen excluder in between the two blue boxes and then come back in a couple of days. But I think I probably would find her if I look carefully. This has got eggs in them. Let's have a look like this. Yeah, it's got eggs, so that means the queen could well be on this plane or close by. Not on the other, not as I can see. We'll look on this one. We're looking for the queen. We know they're thinking of swarming. There's a couple of queen cells in there, partially drawn. There's, I'll tell you what, this is interesting, look. There's um, some emerging brood here I've just seen. This there, look. But one just. One is just emerging, look. A worker bee. Pull him out of the way. See where the end of my tip and my hive tool is. He's just coming out the cell now, look. Got, got a head poking out. See? There's a drone there. Big drone there, look. This one's full of eggs, as I say before when I looked at it. But it's just, I'm just looking for the queen, really. And we're trying to find the queen, but we don't know where to find her, do we? So, I'm just going to swarm, I need to, but I've only seen two with an egg in. So it almost looks like it could be a super, super seizure. But super seizure cells are normally up here somewhere, about three of them. 
got there down the bottom, but there's only two of them with an egg in, so it doesn't almost look like a swarm cell. It's a bit of a, a bit of a gamble, that. I'm going to put that in there, so that'll give them a bit of room. Country the Queen. Might be down the bottom box. See what's in the bottom box. You see, yeah, it's all right, isn't it? Get the dummy board out. Down there. I don't think she'd be down here, but you never know. Got stunning on the finger, on the thumb. A bit of a sting there. Right, um, this is all honey in this one.
There's a drone there, look. See the old drone? Oh, there it goes. There's a queen. She was in the bottom box, look. See her mark red there, look. Yep, you can see her, can't you? Just there, look. Where am I? She's just there, look, busy looking. It doesn't seem right. Even though there was two queen cells, she's looking somewhere to lay neck. Can you see her putting her abdomen in that hole then? She's not noticed, she's not making any sort of signs, you know, she's trying to lay an egg, look, she's walking along, watch, looking to place the abdomen in a hole, and they're just looking after her, so, you know, I'll put her back now anyway. I don't actually think that they are swarming, I think that might be a super procedure, there's only two of them, you put that back like that, now we know that she's safe in there. Mm. I'll see if there's any more swarm cells. Have a quick look through. None there. We're looking, still looking for swarm cells. There's pollen on that one. Loads of pollen. It seems like we've only got two with an egg in it. We'll have to have a look. No, there's nothing in there. See, and when you're wearing these night cock gloves, and feel the bees easier, although I did get stung on there, but you know, it's not often I get stung, so that's all po uh, that's all pollen in there, pollen, that's all honey in there, so we'll put that back. Right, so I'll push all these back now, we know there's no queen cells at all in this bottom box, don't we? The queen's down there, so that's okay. I'll put all them back together. And I'll put that, I'll put this dummy ball back. Now we know where the queen is, so. That's okay. I'll just calm these down a little bit. I'm going to put that on there for a minute just while I look through the other box. Right, what I've done is gone through the bottom box and there's no queen cells in there. The queen is in there because I found her. I've gone through the top box again. There was only three 
queen cells. So for now, I've just taken them queen cells out, taken them away. So what we'll have is a load of drones on top here, look. Queen exclude to stop them getting in, look. Loads of drones. See how that queen excluder stops them all getting in there. We'll get them, get rid of these drones. Yeah. I'll just clear the bees off from the edge so I can put the other box back. What I've done is, I've put this queen screw the back now. Like that. Get them bees off the edge so I don't push them. Okay. Put the super back on. Here's my frame with the queen cells on, look. It's got one there, as I pointed out, and one there, both got eggs in. Normally when they're swarming, you get 15 or 20. Um, as I was saying, is, uh, normally a super seizure would be up here somewhere, and now and again you get them down there, but because there's only, there's only two, I'm taking this away, this frame, because it's full of drone brood, and I'll freeze it and then um, that'll save on any varroa mites that are in there because the varroa mostly go in this frame varroa mite so that'll help to uh, prevent a varroa infection and um, I think that's the best answer really so we've got just them two there you see so interesting they still may swarm but I'll look in a week's time now if I see a load of swarm cells I know that's what they want, but if I only see two like this, I know they want to supersede the queen. So we see what happens. We'll come back in a week and have another look. Well, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. I've learned something from it. You, c you can't really be certain when you've got queen cells, it's definitely swarm cells. If there was about 10 of them along the bottom of the frame, or 12, you think, yeah, swarming. But just two, I'm not so sure. I think they were super sieges. Anyway, I've took them away now, so I'll look again in a week's time and make another informed decision. It's um, by now, from John B. Man Saunders and hope to see you all again. Thanks for watching. Great.